believe it's here, our second, our second de destination of the trip. And uh, yeah, it's been going pretty well so far. A few struggles, but we're making our way. We're we're getting we're getting this thing down. I think. Well, we were on our way to Nashville, and the Jeep was acting a little funny. Um, actually, a lot funny. So we're on uh, South 65 Highway. There's barely any shoulder on the road. As you can see, we're, we're half, half in the grass. Half on the road. Just pretty much in the middle of nowhere. We made it all the way to Kentucky without an issue. Now we had a four hour drive and uh, didn't even make it halfway yet. Too close. I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna pull up Cherokee for him and see if I can't find something quickly. So, some quick backstory for you. A week before this, I went and had the whole charging system checked. We were found to have a bad battery, but the starter and the alternator checked out. Thus, my confusion. I don't know, nothing's smoking. I'm going to check the oil in a second. We've been having weird battery problems, and that's kind of what it felt like. Like, all of a sudden, it just ran out of juice. So, I mean, it could be the alternator or something like that. I, I don't know. It was being really weird. I think it's a power issue. I think it's a power issue. <laughs> Sad state of affairs. <laughs> Seeing him being towed. It looks good up there though. Oh, yeah. I mean, sitting up, you know. Alright, let's hear it. Well, I'm pissed off. Because I still don't exactly know what the issue was. They wanted to charge me $90 to tow it into town and then charge me $50 for the mileage and then charge me another $40 for a service fee to look under the hood and tell me absolutely nothing. But hey, we're back on the road and running for now until it stalls out and dies again and I gotta call another tow truck. It's the $200 ever. So it is, now that we've crossed into the next time zone, it's five o'clock, but it's 6 p.m. for us for the moment. Uh, we left at 11.30. This should be a four hour trip tops. Uh, my gauge has dropped. You can probably see right there. Check gauge's light came on and the voltmeter is down to nine, which means zero, which means it's not charging. We're getting no charging voltage. So, I think right now that we are probably like 50 miles outside of our campground. Well, we're on the side of the road again. But at least we do have a battery charger, which we don't think is charged yet. So now that we're on the road for a second time today, um... My plan here was to charge up the battery enough to get us off of the road. I had bought this battery charger about 60 miles ago, the last time we got charged up, at an advanced auto parts store. And just for a situation like this. Luckily for us, it had enough charge to do exactly what I wanted it to do, which is get us off the road and into this truck stop, which was probably a half a mile down the road. We literally limped in and barely made it into one of the um, diesel fuel up stops. So anyway, these gentlemen here were very kind. They were kind enough to charge us up and get us enough juice to get us down the road to the next advanced auto parts store so I could buy an alternator and spend the next couple hours trying to get it on. What you doing, hun? What am I doing? I'm just having fun. <laughs> just tinkering around? Yeah, it's tinkering. 
Billy, what are you doing? I am loosening the serpentine belt, tensioner pulley, so I can get it off here. And uh, I'm replacing the alternator. Yeah. I'm replacing it. Well, there she is. Um, let you get a little close up. There's a 15 year old uh, alternator. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. I finally got it out of the Jeep. Um, I, I couldn't tell you if it's bad or not, but there's my new one we're going to stick in here now. So hopefully, hopefully this does the trick. I'm going to tighten everything up and that would be, that would be lovely. So, let's do this thing. So, uh, I just want to introduce real quick, this is Thomas. Um, he works at Advanced Auto Parts. <laughs> yeah. And I tell you what, we could not have got the Jeep running tonight without him. We came over here and bought an alternator. I needed a breaker bar and some other tools. And uh, these guys closed up shop about an hour ago. And he hung around and helped out just to make sure we were going to be good to go on the road. So, uh, so get this guy a promotion yeah, right here. Yeah, for real. Right, I need one. I need <laughs> one. Anybody from Advanced Auto Parts, hook this man up because he is going the extra mile to help out the customer. So, <laughs> I mean, I've been stranded before. It sucks. I know the problem, and I figured get it done. Right? Yeah. Get it done right the first time. So. Definitely appreciate it. You're All awesome. Right. Well, you're welcome to join. Us. Well, we're finally on the road. Um, this has been the longest. Not the longest, but it's been certainly the a, a very long day and probably the most expensive road trip I've ever taken to go like 180 miles. Holy smokes. I think we spent about $500 today. It is what it is. What do you think, baby? I feel good to get to the campground and uh, I don't know, it just feels like we've worked so hard to come all this way that we actually deserve to be at this campground right now. <laughs> Knock on wood, it's running great right now. I've been jinxing a lot of things, so I'm, I'm not going to get cocky about it. Um, but she's, she's alive now, and that's all that matters. And once we get to the campsite, I think things will be a little bit easier. <laughs> Very excited. Well, we did it. We made it to pretty much Nashville. It's Goodlitzville, the grand old RV park. That's where we're staying at right now. And uh, it's a good feeling to be here and be in our spot. Show you the camper in its current state of affairs. Everything is good, man. We've got all the juice we could ask for. Got the radio running. All the lights on, the bridge running, we had the AC cranked a minute ago. We will get to enjoy these wonderful amenities. Of course, just like everything, it comes at a cost, but we're gonna live it up, man. Anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Crazy, hectic journey. See you soon.